Hello parents and children. I just wanted to send you a quick video explaining decimals. We've been looking at hundredths and tenths this week, so I wanted to give you guys some um, things to practice at home and talk about as a family. Okay, let's look at our worksheet, decimals, hundredths, and tenths. Always read the directions. Write the decimal and the fraction of each shaded part. All right, and get my pen set up. Okay, here we go. When we look at A, notice that it is divided into 100 pieces. When we look at it though, we don't wanna just assume, but let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, if there's 10 here, there's gotta be 10 in each. So let's count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Okay, there's 100 total pieces. So if there's 100 total pieces, I know that's how many it's been divided into. All right. What, it asks, what it's asking for is the shaded part. So the shaded part, if I know it's by tens, I can count 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. All right, let's try the fraction first. Remember, the numerator is the shaded part. So the numerator is 26. The denominator, though, is always how many pieces there are total, and we just counted 100. We can read this 26 out of 100 or 26 hundredths. The coolest part about fractions and decimals is that they are equal to each other. So remember our place value. Do you see any whole numbers here? Is this whole thing shaded? No. If it's not, put a zero in the ones place. Awesome and a decimal point because anything to the right of the decimal point explains or tells us that it is a part of a number or a decimal number. Remember that first place value to the right is going to be the tenths. So here we can write tenths. Here goes my crazy pen. So we know this is tenths. The next one is hundredths. Now, boys and girls, I like to just, yeah, that's something you have to memorize, but I like to say if you just see one, one place value spot, it's the tenths. If you see two place value spots, it's hundredths. Remember, this example was divided into 100 pieces. 26 of them are shaded. So I can put the number 26 inside and it gives me 26 and I always say the last number and I'm gonna say hundreds, 26 hundredths. Watch me as I say it, 26 hundredths, like a snake. So it's different than 26 hundred, it's hundredths. And the th sound tells us that it's a decimal number. That's really important to remember. Let's flip it back to this. Okay. Now, let's erase this one. So you now know how to do the hundredths. Let's do the tenths. I gave it away. Let's count how many pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's ten total pieces. That's going to be my denominator. There's 10 pieces it's been divided to, but it's asking about the shaded part. One, two, three, four. Four out of the 10 have been shaded, or four tenths. Remember, our fractions are always equal to our decimals. Like I said, if you don't see any whole numbers, which we don't, put a zero in the ones place. Decimal point. And then it's in, divided into tenths. 
Do I need to make two blanks? Absolutely not, because it's divided into tenths. We don't need hundredths. Now, four of the ten parts were shaded, so I can say four tenths. Zero and four tenths have been shaded. All right, my friends, I hope this was helpful. It's my first time to do what's called a screencastify. I'm going to send you a few. Let me see if I can figure out how to turn it off. I hope you guys have a great evening.